now in this video, I will let you know how to create your own AC dimmer circuit using which you can control the power of your AC appliances using your Arduino board. So let's quickly get started. So for making this project, you will need a bridge rectifier, one MCT2E IC, one MOC3021 IC, one BT136 triac, one heatsink, 47k 1 watt resistors, 2 pin terminal connectors, 1k resistor, 10k resistor and a 4 pin connector. Then for giving the signals to the circuit, you need to have your Arduino board and a potentiometer for changing the brightness. I bought most of the components used for this particular project from lcsc.com. I will attach the list of all the components which I bought for this project in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and buy it from the website. Now the connections of all the components is something like this. Now to make the project looks neat, I designed my own PCB on easyeda.com and gave its order to GLC PCB. Ordering PCBs online made very simple by GLC PCB. Just upload the Gerber file, select the masking color and pay for your order. You will be receiving these PCBs straight at your home. So try out GLC PCB once to make your projects look neat and more compact. And if you want the same PCB which I have, then I am giving free PCBs to everyone who orders a Techie SMS t-shirt. Just select the PCB you want on the t-shirt order form and you'll get the PCBs absolutely free. Coming back to the video, now one by one, I shouldered all the components on the PCB. I have attached this heatsink with BT136 just to make this project work more smoothly without getting much hot. After shouldering all the components, our PCB looks something like this. Neat and well aligned. Now you'll notice I haven't shouldered a resistor and LED here on the PCB. I have used this for testing the zero voltage crossing indication. So if you don't shoulder it, then also the project will work perfectly. Now before jumping into the code, let's first understand the working of the AC dimmer. First of all, we have these big resistors at the power input which will limit the current coming from the source. Then we have attached a bridge rectifier whose output is attached to the optocoupler IC. These ICs have an LED at the input and transistor at the output. So whenever the LED glows, the current flows from the collector to emitter of this internal transistor. In this connection, whenever input AC signal reaches to 0 volt, the internal LED will be off and the signal to the Arduino will be given as digital 1 due to this pull-up resistor. Now as soon as the signal crosses the 0 volt, the LED will turn on and the signal to the Arduino will be given as digital 0. So in short, we will be getting pulses every time the signal crosses the 0 value. So this circuit is also known as zero cross detector circuit. Here this pin is connected to Arduino which is called as zero voltage crossing or ZVC. Now here we are also using one triac BT136. If I explain the working of triac in short, then if we provide the signal to the gate terminal, then it allows the current to flow from T1 to T2 or T2 to T1 as well. So it is perfect to control AC current using triac. Now to drive this triac, we will need one driving IC which is MOC3021. This IC will take signal from our Arduino board and drive the triac accordingly. So this was all about the circuit diagram and the components. Now let's observe how this circuit dims the appliances. There are many methods of AC dimming but in our case we will be using this leading edge phase dimming method. Here I don't have an oscilloscope so I will try to explain you by drawing the diagrams. So this is the power input AC source at 50 Hz. Now if we calculate the time then each cycle is of 20 milliseconds and each half cycle is of 10 milliseconds. Now after the bridge rectifier the signal will look something like this. So here we have no negative cycle, all the cycles are positive cycles only. Okay. Now at the output of zero crossing voltage circuit we will be getting pulses every time the signal crosses the zero value. 
Now moving ahead, to dim the appliances, we need to trigger the triac at different intervals between 0 millisecond to 10 milliseconds. But here, rather than going into the extreme values of 0 to 10 millisecond, I will select some safe values from 0.2 millisecond to 7.2 millisecond, considering the delay time caused by the functions used in the Arduino. So now we have to select at what time we should trigger the triac and for that we will take the zero voltage crossing as a reference. Let's take an example we need to dim the bulb at 50% brightness and for that we need to deliver only half power to it. So rather than delivering the power for whole 10 millisecond we need to deliver it only for 5 millisecond in half cycle. So what we will do as soon as zero cross detector signal is received in the Arduino after 5 milliseconds, we will be triggering the gate pin of triac using Arduino. So now, the signal at the gate pin is something like this. After every 5 millisecond of zero crossing, the gate is turned on and with this, the output of the triac will be something like this. The power is delivered for only 5 milliseconds in a half cycle, which was previously 10 milliseconds. With this, our bulb will only get half power from the input and it will glow at 50% brightness only. Likewise, we can choose any values between 0.2 to 7.2 millisecond using the potentiometer and can adjust the output power accordingly. Logic for this particular thing is written inside this code which is pretty simple to understand now. After uploading the code, I just made the connection of Arduino board with the AC dimmer circuit and I also attached one potentiometer to change the triac triggering timing. So everything seems perfect now. Let's see everything in action. project is perfectly working. I hope you like this project and got to learn something new this time. Subscribe my channel if you haven't to watch more such amazing project tutorials. Other than projects, I also used to upload some getting started videos on electronic components or products, some explained videos on different technology or sensor and some short but useful tips and tricks. So just wait for my next video and explore, learn, share with me Techie SMS.